How y'all doing tonight? I just finished with this grave and was just giving my bones a rest. I like working at night. It's nice and peaceful. The name is M.T. Graves. I'm the caretaker and digger here at the graveyard. So did you stop by to hear a yarn or two? I have some terror-filled tales that will set your mind racing and have your hair on end. Well, find you a spot and get comfortable and I'll tell you a story that will keep you up at night, staring into the darkness wondering if you will be next. Rocket's Red Glare Billy saw the first blast light up the night sky, most would just stare in awe. Billy isn't one, his instincts took over and without thinking he hugged the ground like he was part of it. Fear isn't a bad emotion, but a very helpful one. Fear is the emotion that keeps people alive. It tells you that there is danger. Move, dodge, and get away from it. It is our basic fight or flight response. All within a second, another fiery explosion lights up the sky. With the third explosion, Billy looks around for a safe place. The flashes of light and booming tempests are coming faster now. Each explosion seems to shake the very ground and sends waves of sound you can almost feel. He can see in the reddish light a small mound of dirt, just a feet away. It isn't a fort or bunker, but it is better than laying face down on the ground in the open. Billy pushes off the ground with his adrenaline-fueled muscles and scrambles to his feet. He begins in a crouched run, but after a few steps and another series of explosions, Billy's legs are pumping as if he was in a race with death itself. Every step feels as if time is slowing down. The safety the mound promises is coming closer with each agonizingly slow step. Instead of taking the last step, Billy leaps. Sliding as if he was stealing home plate. Safely behind the mound, Billy curls himself into a ball clamping his hands over his ears to shut out the booming explosions happening around him. Billy lost the track of time, waiting and hoping the blasts would end. During this Billy heard a familiar voice, yell out his name. Knowing the voice was someone he could trust, he reluctantly lifts his head over the mound. Billy, said Uncle John. Either get out here with the rest of us and watch these fireworks, or I'll send you to the car. Billy dusts himself off and walks back to his family enjoying the fireworks display. Hope that didn't scare you too much. Just something to think about when you're in the dark, or when the power goes out. Well, I guess I've rested enough. I have more customers to attend to. Seems business is booming. See ya around. Eventually. Mm -hmm. <laughs>